day everyone welcome to another episode of quick math tutorial today we are going to learn about the midpoint formula if point l is our first point we have x sub 1 and y sub 1 and point n is our second point we have x sub 2 and y sub 2 are the end points of a segment and m is the midpoint we have here the point l point n and the midpoint m when we say midpoint, it is a point that cuts the segment into two equal parts. Therefore, line segment LM is just equal to the line segment MN. Then the coordinates of the midpoint M is equal to open parenthesis x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2, comma y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2, and the close parenthesis. Remember, if you are asked to find a midpoint, your answer must be coordinates of a point. It is an ordered pair separated by a comma and enclosed with a parenthesis. Let's have our first example. Find the coordinates of the midpoint of the segment whose endpoints are Point A, we have 6 and 8, and point B, we have 12 and 10. For our solution, let's first identify what will be our first point. Let A be our first point, so we have x sub 1 and y sub 1, and B as our second point, so we have x sub 2 and y sub 2. Or you can have point B as your first point and point A as your second point. Now, using the midpoint formula, we will substitute the values of x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, and y sub 2. So we have here, our x sub 1 is equal to 6, x sub 2 is equal to 12, our y sub 1 here is equal to 8, and our y sub 2 here is equal to 10. 6 plus 12 equals 18, 8 plus 10 equals 18. 18 divided by 2, we have 9, and 18 divided by 2, we have 9. Therefore, the coordinates of the midpoint of the line segment AB are 9 and 9. Example number 2. Find the coordinates of the midpoint of the segment whose endpoints are Point P, we have negative 3 and 10, and point D, we have negative 7 and negative 2. For our solution, this time, we will let T be our first point, so we have x sub 1, y sub 1, and point P be our second point. We have x sub 2 and y sub 2. Now, using the midpoint formula, we will substitute the values of x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, and y sub 2 x sub 1 is equal to negative 7, plus our x sub 2 is equal to negative 3, y sub 1 is equal to negative 2, and y sub 2 is equal to 10. Negative 7 and negative 3, or let's first simplify the parenthesis, so we have positive times negative, we have negative 3. Negative 7 and negative 3, since they have the same sign, so we will add 7 plus 3 is equal to 10, then copy the sign negative. Negative 2 and positive 10, since they have different signs, so we will subtract 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. Now, negative 10 divided by 2 is equal to negative 5, and 8 is divided by 2 is equal to 4. Therefore, the coordinates of the point of the line segment PT are negative 5 and 4. And for our last example, the coordinates of the endpoints of the line segment LG are negative 3 and negative 2 and 8 and 9 respectively. What are the coordinates of its midpoint M? So for our solution, let L be our first point, so we have x sub 1 and y sub 1, and point G as our second point, so we have x sub 2 and y sub 2. Using the midpoint formula, we have here our x sub 1 is equal to negative 3, plus our x sub 2 is equal to 8, comma, our y sub 1 is equal to negative 2, 
and our y sub 2 is equal to 9. Negative 3 and positive 8, we have different signs, so we will subtract. 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. 9 and negative 2, since they have different signs, so we will again subtract. 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. Therefore, the coordinates of the midpoint of the line segment LG are 5 over 2 and 7 over 2. To sum it up, always remember this midpoint formula. M is equal to open parenthesis x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2 comma y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2 close parenthesis. That ends our quick math tutorial. If you like the video, please click on the like button. If you have questions, just leave a comment below. And to be notified on my next videos, please click on the subscribe button. Thank you. Bye!